Hey guys, I'm coming to you live from New York in my hotel room actually and I have been hauling beauty products like I do every time I go away and I thought this time why don't I do a little video and show them to you. Um, I actually haven't shopped as much as I usually would when I go away but if you remember I was only in the USA like two months ago, three months ago and I pretty much bought everything I could possibly buy at Sephora. So don't have a lot to show you but I still have some goodies. Okay so starting off with Sephora, uh, I found the Pure Vanilla Healthy Deodorant by Lan Vanilla or La Vanilla. I can never pronounce that. I don't even know what it means. But um, I do know it's a vegan deodorant and it's meant to be um, a really good one and it's meant to smell delicious. And I just love the mini size, so I picked that one up. Next, I got uh, the CC Cream from Cover FX. This is a really great brand that uh, if you follow Fira.net, you'll see she always mentions it. And I was told I have to get this one. So there you go, Fira. I bought it. Next, we have uh, a Maracuja Creaseless Concealer from Tarte. I really needed some new concealers and... I just found that this one was a really great formula, it didn't crease, it's waterproof um, and it's kind of moisturising as well, I get quite a dry uh, flaky skin beneath my eyes. So this one seemed good and it's a great colour match so we'll see how that one goes. Now OCC is not a brand I really talk about, uh, I do have some of their lip tars but I just don't know how to use them, they're really difficult to use in my opinion. So. When I saw that they had a lip tar primer, I gave it a little try in store, I put it on the back of my hand and then I put some of the lip tar on it and it really did seem to make a difference in the application. So I bought the primer and hopefully that means that I will now be able to use my lip tars. We'll see about that. Duo eyelash glue. It's a necessity. I have boxes of it, I admit that. I have boxes unused sitting in my drawer but this one is a, in a darker colour and I've only got the one that goes on clear so I feel that's justification enough to buy the dark one. And it's in a pink box. Pink. Another product from Cover FX, as I said I needed concealer so I bought one of their cream concealers as well. Um, they have heaps of colours in the range, I think there was like 9 or 10 different colours and um, it was a bit tricky to find one that did everything I want but I think I found that with NX Lite and hopefully this will be everything I need. Um, Cover FX is all vegan so you can buy anything from them and not have to worry about what animal products are in there. Now Lucky Last product is something that I have already purchased before and if you've read the blog you will know that I had a massive drama with Tria Beauty. They created the laser hair, the hair removal laser 4X, which I did buy last time I was in America. By the time I got home and I actually plugged it in to try it, it didn't actually do anything. It was stuff from the get-go. It's not that I broke it, there was nothing wrong with it, it just never worked. So I swore off ever buying it again, but I really, really wanted to give it a try. So I bought it again, but this time I have actually tried it in the hotel room and I can say that it turns on and it charges, so that's already a leap ahead of what my last one did. So, will it work for removing my hair and keeping it away? We'll just have to wait and see for that one. Now, moving on from Sephora, there are actually other beauty stores in the USA. I know, shock, but there are some. One of those is Ricky's NYC. They are kind of a beauty supply store, but they, you know, they have a lot of like retail lines as well. Um, and they've also got a range of hair salons that are inside their stores. So they're really cool. They've got some great brands. Um, but I was just looking for things that I couldn't buy at Sephora, basically. One of those was 100% pure. They are a completely vegan, natural based cosmetic line. Uh, again, I think this was either, it was either Fira or uh, maybe Vegan Beauty Review or even maybe Logical Harmony that mentioned that they were really great. And um, I have been looking for a good vegan primer, so picked up theirs. And it came with a free mascara, little baby mascara. So happy with that. And I also picked up uh, some Sunbum SBF 30 Lip Balm. They have quite a few flavours of these, I think there was like six or seven flavours and I picked up pomegranate mostly because it's in a pink tube and I just really like the little monkey on it, it's cute. 
lucky last is products that I've been dying to get and just could not find in Australia. Uh, these are from a pharmacy called Gideon's Pharmacy. Um, they're near Times Square and super basic products that everyone in the US will be like, are you serious? You had to hunt this down. They're available everywhere, but for me, they're not. So Zoya Remove, the Holy Grail Nail Polish Remover. This was the biggest they sold. So I'm kind of disappointed because I would obviously have taken the large, like two liter bottle, but this will have to do for me and I'm pretty excited to just give it a try. I actually think it's leaking, so I'm gonna to have to like work on that, but I'm really excited to try this. And lucky last is OPI's Natural Nail Base Coat. So this is like, it's a peel off base coat. So when you apply glitter, like I have on my nails right now, instead of uh, having to like scrub the glitter off, if you use this base coat first, you can just peel it straight off, peel the glitter off when you're done. No hassles with nail polish remover, even though Zoya is amazing. This is much easier for glitter. So that is my haul so far. Maybe I'll buy more, maybe I won't. But head to the blog and I will be giving reviews of these products and you can also check out some photos and have a read of that Tria Beauty Saga from last time. Okay, bye.